Hello everybody, it's uh, been a while since you guys have seen a uh, Whitetail related video aside from the Great One video I posted a few days ago, but that footage was from about a month ago, or actually even over a month at this point, so uh, we haven't actually done a video on it, uh, or at least recorded a video on it recently, uh, but we're doing one today because we got a really cool trophy on stream a couple days ago, and well, at the time of this probably uploading, it will have been almost a week ago, but as of the time recording it, it has been just a couple of days since it happened, and we finally got a Melanistic uh, level 3 to spawn, and well, I'm not going to spoil how that went, as you guys probably either already know from the title I put on this, or you will find out uh, very shortly, but we finally managed to get a Melanistic max level uh, Whitetail to spawn, and it was uh, quite a crazy moment, but I figured we would uh, hunt a little bit of Whitetail today, uh, try to get some cool stuff to spawn, and then see if we can um, talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing on the channel in the near future. So recently we've started streaming the Whitetail grind again because I just was not enjoying the moose hunting, and as most of you know, I tend to do whatever I'm enjoying the most here on the channel, and moose grinding really was just not that enjoyable for me, especially compared to stuff like the Whitetail, so we have returned to Whitetail for about a week, and we are going to be doing things a little bit different when it comes to uh, the Great One grinds in the future. I know I've talked about this in a previous video, but I wanted to mention it again in this one for those of you that may have missed it in the uh, last one that I talked about it in. So basically what we're going to be doing is we'll be hunting a different Great One every single week and uh, try to make progress towards a bunch of different Great Ones. So this week, or I, I guess by the time this uploads, it'll probably be towards the end of of the week where we are doing this, but we're going to be hunting for the Whitetail Great One, and then we're going to go for the Red Deer Great One for a week. Alright, so slight change of plans as I'm editing this video. I actually made a decision that instead of doing a set schedule of we're going to hunt this this week, this this week, and cycling through all of them, I'm going to put it up to a vote each week and let you guys decide what we're going to grind for. Uh, so today, I put up a poll asking if you guys want to see uh, black bear, red deer, uh, moose, moose and black bear, or red deer and whitetail. And we're going to do this every single week. Just put it up to a poll and let you guys decide. That way, it's a little bit more random and fun and it's not a set schedule. And it's all going to be based on what you guys want to see here on the channel. Only rule we're going to implement is that we can't do the exact same grind two weeks in a row. So... Let's say we do uh, Whitetail. We can't do just Whitetail the next week, but we can do, like, if you guys want to see it, a mix of, like, Red Deer and Whitetail, kind of like what's in today's poll. But just thought I would uh, implement that into the uh, video real quickly so you guys would know exactly what's going on. And, uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. And then we'll do another week of the Black Bear, and then another week will be the Moose. And then after that, we're going to leave it up to a poll and let you guys decide what following weeks will be. That right there is actually a really cool looking level 3 whitetail deer. That guy's got ridiculously close tip to tip spread. And to be honest, I've been finding a lot of those recently. I've had a lot of level 3s that just have ridiculously close tip to tip spread and end up trolling because of it. Or just barely making diamond. And to be honest, I'm all for it. I think that's really cool. It's nice to see some more unique deer showing up. This is our buck right here. This is going to be an interesting one to see what it scores. 258. Look at that tip to tip spread. That is absolutely crazy just how close the tips are. The fact that this can happen with level threes is really cool. And I've always thought that these are some of the better looking level three whitetail. And even the ones that don't make diamond, because usually those have some of the tightest spread you could ever find on a diamond in uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. And it just looks really cool. It's so cool that we will be taxing this guy right here as you really don't see them like this too often, but recently we've been getting lucky and seeing more and more of them. And since this is something else that gets talked about quite a bit, I did want to mention that whenever we go back to the Black Bear grind in a couple of weeks, we will not be using herd management on it, as I feel like that would not be very enjoyable since the Black Bear are already very inconsistent and spread out. I feel like it would just make it way less enjoyable to play and also to watch, so 
With the Black Bear, we will be doing a, a classic old-fashioned shoot everything grind that a lot of you have really been uh, wanting to see. So we are going to be doing that. There's going to be a good mix of every type of uh, play style on the channel as always. And we're always trying to keep things enjoyable here on the channel. So that is why we will not be doing uh, the herd management with the Black Bear. It just doesn't seem like it would be very fun. At least not nearly as fun as it is for uh, white-tailed deer or red deer. You know, something I've noticed ever since the update that they did uh, about a month ago at this point, adding the Great One Moose in New England Mountains, is uh, they added a lot of rocks and trees in places that used to have none. And there never used to be these two trees blocking my line of sight for this zone, and there didn't used to be a rock there, or all of these trees right here, right on top of this zone. It feels like they've been putting a lot of trees uh, in the way of a lot of zones that didn't used to have them. I wonder if it's an attempt to make it a little bit more difficult or maybe they just wanted to add some more things onto the map to make it a bit more, I guess, uh, interesting looking or just to make it different than it was before. I really, I don't know their purpose of doing it. The only thing I can think of being the logical reason is to kind of make drink zones a bit more tough to grind as uh, they have seemed to kind of recently made an effort to make grinding slightly tougher with stuff like the spook range changes and uh, things like that. Well, let's try to get this guy down if we can. That's not going to be an easy shot, but we did manage to connect it. There we go, a 210 that we did get a single long shot on. Definitely not our best shot, but it did do the trick. And that one is a 239, not a bad gold. And uh, the first shot actually did hit vitals. The second one kind of just made him go down a little bit quicker. So the location that we were just at is right here by Willapeg Caves. This is where they tossed that random rock at a bunch of trees in one of the zones. And uh, now we're up here at this zone. And once again, there is a lot more trees blocking my line of sight than previously. So many to the point where I had to move my tree stand over here because it used to be right there. And that really was just not cutting it anymore as it was directly behind all of those trees that they seemingly moved around. It really makes me curious why they have just randomly moved a bunch of trees. They've done this in the past with uh, multiple maps, including uh, Tiawaroa and Silver Ridge Peaks, and there never seems to be like a given reason why they do it. It's just one day there's randomly more trees and stuff. I wish they would tell us why that's done, but I suppose it might be something where they don't want us to know why, but it, it is a little bit strange regardless. But anyway guys, since we talked about the bear grind a little bit earlier in this video, I am very curious what map you guys think we should be grinding the black bear on. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want us to do Silver Ridge Peaks, Mississippi, or New England, as I'm not going to do Layton since we're already set up for Whitetail here. But let me know what other maps you think we should be hunting for the black bear on, and I think the one that gets the most votes is most likely what we will do. Another beautiful level 3 whitetail, this one being the exact same rack as the uh, level 3 melanistic that we got a couple of days ago. And I think because of the fact that we've got this guy in front of us and he happens to have a very similar rack, why don't we go ahead and show off the melanistic as well as a couple other trophies that we got during the same stream. We s streamed about 5 hours that day and got a couple of pretty cool trophies, so without further ado, let's jump into it. And then most recently, a few months ago, I got a 7 mil Remington Magnum. Hey, that's a big boy. Look at that tip to tip spread. What? Oh my gosh, look at that tip to tip spread, man. That's crazy. His tips are almost touching. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hold on. I gotta get him back here. That's crazy. I need that thing. <laughs> we got another three here. <laughs> Two threes side by side. One of them has ridiculously close tip to tip spread. This might be one of the coolest whitetail uh, level threes we've ever seen. That guy looks so awesome. Look at that, man. What's the distance? 250. Okay, so we need to aim low at 300. Ooh, they dart off so fast now. Did we get vitals? I mean, <laughs> now we did. <laughs> what a weird sequence of events. That was something else, man. That was something else. 
What is this guy's tip to tip spread looking like? Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. That is wild right there. Let's see. It trolled. <laughs> oh my gosh, it trolled. That is not an everyday thing to get a troll with this rack. Wow, he actually trolled. That's such a cool deer though. <gasps> oh, is that? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a Melodistic Super Rare! Woo! Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh my gosh! Woo! Holy! It's been almost 8,000 kills since I got a super rare. Oh my gosh. It's melanistic too. Holy. I can't believe I finally have a melanistic super rare in front of me. I've never got a super rare mela of any species. This is my very first melanistic diamond. Oh, right. I did get the moose. You guys are right. I did get the mela moose. Sorry, my brain is thinking like red deer and white tail right now. Because, uh, Melanistic Whitetail and Melanistic Moose, or not Moose, see, I can't even talk right now. Melanistic Whitetail and Melanistic Red Deer are two of my most wanted diamonds, and I could never get one. We finally have one. This is what 20k plus does to your brain. You're not wrong, chicken. After 24,000 Whitetail kills, it does fry your brain a little bit. But, uh, I have fun doing it, so, can't complain. Oh my gosh. Here we go, zero for 75. He's down, let's go. Mela, super rare whitetail on the ground. That is so beautiful, man. My favorite rack and everything. I'm not gonna take pictures because we almost crashed last time we did. that happen oh my gosh it trolled by point zero three that's 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 just not even right man that's just not even right <laughs> oh man all that work and it's a troll 24,000 kills trying to get a melanistic super rare whitetail 24,000 kills over the course of two years. And this is what it ends in. That's just. I mean, I know what did it. It's the tip to tip spread. You can tell that this tip to tip is not as wide as some of them. That's just heartbreaking, man. I have waited to see a melanistic diamond for years. For the white tail and this is what happens. Gosh, man. Sucks, but you know, it's still a beautiful deer. It's just unfortunate that it's 0 .03 off diamond. Ah, it's a soup. Okay, we got it. We got an albino. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. The rares are popping up like crazy. This guy's small, but he looks nice. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Why is he alerted? Well, what, what did I do? Hey man, that might be a diamond there too. I can't quite tell. Dude, we're actually doing really good. Oh, uh, today's been a crazy day of grinding. I just I just can't get over that troll mela though. That troll mela was heartbreaking. But we got an albino. And we just got one of the cleanest two pieces I've seen since they increased the spook range. That might be one of our better follow-up shots right there that actually went really well 273 i'm gonna s not yeah 273 
Wow, 270. Okay. Lower scoring than I thought, but not bad. Still pretty good. And then we got that albino too. There he is. That's actually a decent looking one. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this rack on the uh, rares. It looks more like a real life whitetail than a lot of the bigger ones do. So I don't mind getting these. Not bad. That one's tax worthy, obviously. Well, now that you guys have seen that absolute disappointment of a melanistic uh, trolling us by 0 0.3 and absolutely crushing all of my uh, spirit during that moment, let's go ahead and take down this guy as I'm hoping that he won't troll us, unlike that Mela did. That's got to be literally the most disappointing trophy I've ever come across. I was so excited to finally have a level 3 melanistic as I've gone 24,000 kills on Whitetail without seeing one. And it was my most wanted trophy besides the typical rat great one that we still don't have. And for that guy to troll was just absolutely crushing. I really just did not know how to feel in the moment as it was one of the trophies that I've always wanted. That along with the melanistic diamond red deer that we also still don't have. It uh, was very sad to see that that guy didn't end up making it. Especially when that rack can score uh, quite a bit above diamond just like this guy right here at 259. And since I've had a few questions about it over the last month since we uh, kind of put the whitetail grind on a break to do the moose grind, uh, for those of you that were wondering, yes, our uh, pet piebald is still alive, Lucky is still here, and we're going to continue to leave him on the map, all because he spawned the exact same day that we got two great ones in one stream, which has never happened any other time besides the stream where he ended up spawning in. So we've left him ever since then, and we plan to continue to leave him until EW inevitably does another population reset sometime down the line. And as always, guys, if you're curious how I hunt my zones, or if you're curious how we're able to kill 100 whitetail per hour, be sure to go check out the previous live streams. They're all on the channel for you guys to be able to check out whenever you want to. And it'll give you an idea of how we do it to be so efficient and so fast. And that is a massive level three. Oh my gosh, that guy's huge. We're going to take him down right now. This is the biggest level three of the day and has a good chance of being an absolute monster. Herd management has been absolutely on fire for the whitetail recently. This is the first time where we've literally been getting diamonds every single run uh, to the point where we had, I think, over 20 in a five hour stream, maybe even a little bit more. It was honestly pretty ridiculous to see things just uh, picking up this much so fast, but it uh, definitely has. And it's been crazy to see. And that is a 274.59. Oh my gosh, that is huge. That is absolutely monstrous. Wow. You know what? We are going to tax that one as well. We are getting a lot of taxable diamond whitetail today to the point where I, I don't think I've had it like this in a while. We have taxed more today than actually more in the last couple days than I have in the last month. That is pretty crazy. And as always, guys, if you're curious uh, how we get so many diamond whitetail and diamond red deer and things like that, be sure to check out the herd management guides on the channel as that will show you exactly how you can uh, get just as many diamonds showing up as me. Keep in mind, it's a very time consuming thing. It takes typically over 100 hours to perfectly refine a grind like that. And it's definitely not for everybody. So again, play the game how you have the most fun. If you want to try it, give it a try. If you don't want to, then there's no pressure in doing so. Just remember, at the end of the day, have fun. This is a very non-competitive game. And it's just a game where you guys really want to try and make sure that you are having the most fun. That's what I always try to do. It just so happens that I have a lot of fun doing these hardcore grinds like this. So that's what I primarily do. But it's definitely not a needed thing to have fun. There is a lot of stuff in Call of the Wild that is very enjoyable. And if it's not your thing to trophy hunt, then don't worry about it. You don't need to make it your priority. But there is the uh, disappointment of a whitetail. I can't believe that he trolled. It's still the most crushing moment I've ever had spotting a trophy, expecting him to be a diamond, and then having him troll by literally 0 0.3. The only thing I can compare this to was when I got trolled by a piebald level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk a while back, and it was a guaranteed troll. 
It was uh, quite a sad thing to see. This was a very similar moment, but even worse as it's a trophy I've always wanted to get and uh, sadly still don't have the one I was looking for. Though, it's still got my favorite rack, so that is at least uh, something positive. It's at least my biggest melanistic ever and still looks absolutely stunning. So that is a phenomenal thing to get regardless. But uh, after 14,000 kills and only getting one super rare through herd management, it's uh, it's definitely crushing that this guy ended up trolling. It had been a while since we had seen a super rare over 7,000 kills uh, since our albino one. So it was pretty sad to see this guy troll. But at the end of the day, it's how the dice roll. That's called the wild for you. A lot of randomness involved and you never quite know what you're going to get. And that was definitely the case here. But thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and also comment down below on what you enjoy most about the Hunter Call of the Wild and what your favorite way to play the game is. But obviously, as always, be civil, be nice, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!